everyone welcome to this video in this video let's see how to solve the problems on kvl by applying kirchhoff voltage law to this circuit let us find out the currents in this circuit so let us recall the kirchhoff voltage law which i have explained in the previous video the kirchhoff voltage law says the algebraic sum of all branch voltages around any closed loop of a network is zero or we say the sum of voltage rises and voltage drops in a closed loop at any instant of time are equal so this is the expression we can say summation v this is what emf or the voltage and summation ir this is the drops in the components equal to 0 so let us see how actually we are going to apply kvl for this particular circuit if you take the current direction in this way and the voltages are v1 v2 v3 are taken negative because we are moving from positive to negative in the resistor remember the voltage will drop in the source like this voltage will rise so we consider this as a voltage source so we need to take that as plus and as we move along this resistor if we are moving in this way the resistor will be having higher potential at this end lower potential voltage at this end so we need to take that as minus so by applying kvl we are going to get an equation like this so in other words we can say rearranging this expression it is v1 plus v2 plus v3 these are the voltage drops will be equal to the voltage source or the emf so in the previous video itself i have taken this example as the voltage across those three resistors and a supply voltage 6 volt so let us see the problem in this problem we will be having uh, five resistors connected in this fashion we have two supplies the voltage supply one is 10 volts another one is 20 volts here to solve this problem to find out the currents in this particular circuit we need to first understand the mesh analysis what is mesh mesh is a complete circuit or a closed circuit where there is no other branch will be there so let us treat this as mesh 1 this as mesh 2 and this as mesh 3 here we need to apply kvl for each and every mesh first we need to consider mesh 1 and then mesh 2 and then mesh 3 we are going to get three expressions by solving those three we will be getting the currents in the each mesh so let us assume the direction of currents here one thing we need to remember is that we need to take the direction of the current in each mesh in the same direction we can assume in the clockwise direction or we can assume also in the reverse direction as anti-clockwise but the thing is in all the meshes current will be assumed in the same direction and we can say the currents in the meshes are i1 i2 and i3 now let us apply the kvl to mesh 1 how to apply the kvl to mesh 1 so here we will be having a 10 volt supply and current direction will be this current is flowing from minus to positive this is voltage rise that's why we need to take it as plus 10 and then there will be a resistor of 4 ohms here we need to take the voltage voltage in the sense v is equal to i into r what is the current flowing through the resistor that is i1 and the resistance is 4 ohm that's why here we need to take i1 into 4 and what is the polarity here we are going in this direction obviously there is a resistor where the voltage drop occurs voltage drop will be represented by negative that's why it is minus 4 into i1 then in this mesh we will be having one more resistor with 4 ohm what is the current flowing through this 4 ohm resistor the current is 4 into i1 minus i2 why we are taking i1 minus i2 because this is current i1 of mesh 1 and the other current means the second mesh current is also contributing to this resistor but why it is minus 4 into i1 minus i2 means the reference current or the conventional current what we are taking is mesh 1 current that's why mesh 1 current is concerned this is the direction of current flow so i1 in the reverse direction the current is coming from the second loop is i2 we need to subtract that that's why here the voltage drop in the 4 ohm resistor is 4 into i1 minus i2 equal to 0 so there are three components here two resistors one voltage supply that's why the expression is this then we need to multiply 4 into i1 and 4 into i2 the expression becomes 
plus 10 minus 4 i1 minus 4 i1 plus 4 into i2 is equal to 0. Now let us rearrange this expression by writing uh, currents in the left side and at the right hand side let us write the constant. It becomes minus 8 i1 plus 4 i2 is equal to minus 10. Then we need to take the mesh 2. We need to apply the KVL to second mesh. Here in the second mesh we will be not having any voltage source. There are three resistors where the voltage drop is occurring. So let us take the second 2 ohm resistor first. Here we need to take minus, remember the current direction is this, we need to take minus 2 into I2. Again in this resistor, second resistor, we will be having two currents. One current is the mesh 2 current which is taken as reference. The other current I3 is coming in the opposite direction. That's why it is 2 into I2 minus I3 and then minus 4 into I2 is the reference current here in the 4 ohm resistor and I1 is the current coming from the mesh 1. That's why we need to subtract that. So the expression becomes this. Again, if you multiply and rearrange this expression, it becomes minus 4 into I1 minus 8 into I2 plus 2 into I3 is equal to 0. This is the expression for uh, current in mesh 2. Now we need to apply the KVL to mesh 3. In the same way, if you treat this mesh 3 and if you apply the KVL, the expression becomes plus 2 I2 minus 6 I3 is equal to 20. Now we got three expressions. For three mesh, we will be getting equ equation 1 and equation 2 and equation 3. By solving these three simultaneous equations, we are going to get the current I1 and current I2 and current I3. How we are going to find these three currents by using three simultaneous equations? We can use any mathematical method which is uh, going to give I1, I2, I3 or we can use a scientific calculator. In the scientific calculator, solve these equations and we can obtain what is I1, I2 and I3. Let us see that. In the scientific calculator, if you click on mode thrice, you will get equation. To select that equation, press 1. So it is asking for how many unknowns are there. In our expression, we will be having 3 unknowns. So select 3 here. Now it is asking for to enter the coefficient values. In the first expression, I1 coefficient is minus 8. So I am entering minus 8. Then click on equals. It is asking for B1. B1 in the sense second value coefficient that is plus 4. Click on 4. And then C1. C1 is I3. I3 coefficient is 0. There is no I3 in first expression. Then it, uh, it is asking for D1. D1 is the constant minus 10 here. So the first equation coefficients are over. We need to enter the second equation coefficients that is plus 4 and then minus 8 and C2 is 2 and the constant is 0 in the second expression. In the third expression we will be having we will be not having any I1 so I1 coefficient is 0 I2 will be having 2 with I2 and then I3 will be having minus 6 and the constant is minus 20. So if you give these values it will be directly giving the value of x, y and z. What is x, y and z here? This x is I1 and y is the value of I2 and z is the value of I3. So after solving these three equations we are going to get I1 as 2.3437 and I2 as 2.1875 amps and I3 as 4.0625 amps. Here currents are going to be represented with amperes. This is how we can solve any circuit by applying KVL to the mesh. Thank you.